day. All right, everybody, how's it going? Now, this is just a quick video. Now, I say a quick video, it all depends how long I waffle on for. <laughs> but um, probably won't be too long. But anyway, let's dig into what I'm looking at on this old screen here. You can probably see over there, somewhere on the screen, but there, um, is an X1 Pro Gen 4. Now, if you've watched my videos, you'll know, and if you go back and look in the past, you know that I, I paid over £1,200 for an X1 Pro Gen 3, a CYC motor, X1 Pro Gen 3. And that motor went poof. It went up in a puff of smoke. Game snap. <laughs> right, here we go. 20. 25. 28. Ooh. Made a funny noise, eh? Oh, we're making a funny noise. We've got something wrong here. The, the magnets snapped, caused the motor to overheat, and that was the end of the motor. Now, CYC did send me a brand new motor. Uh, they just said, send me a video of what happened to the, the motor, and they sent me a brand new one. But they sent me a brand new one, and I wasn't confident in, in the product because I made a video about the CYC motor breaking down and then more and more people in the comment section said the same thing had happened to them so I sold the brand new motor at a loss I explained the situation with the motor and somebody bought it so I lost nearly a thousand pounds on buying the CYC X1 Pro Gen 3 because it broke there was there must be some sort of uh, fault with it uh, because the magnets fractured the the glue came off and that caused heat and friction and then the motor just went poof and that was the end of that um but like i said they did honor the the warranty and they sent me a new one um if that one had broke they might have sent me another one but it was getting close to the use guarantee up so i would have been stuffed um so i bought that last was it last year or not quite like last year right um and they brought they're bringing out a new one in January 2024, that's what it says on the website. I'm looking at it on the tablet here. And that's the X1 Pro Gen 4. Now, um, if I look down by here, what have they changed? Well, this is the interesting part, okay? When they brought out the X1 Pro Gen 3, they said it was going to have uh, an X12 controller. But that never turned up. It never materialised. Um, and they only had the X6 controller. Now, I wonder if they didn't bring the X12 controller out because they knew they were having failures with the uh, Pro Gen 3 with the with a lower wattage. Um, I think that's what it was. I'm just... This is just my opinions, by the way. It's not fact. It's just my opinions and what I think happened. Um, now, that could... That, that, that's what I think happened because, like I said... I think there's 21,000 views on my the video with, it, with the actual uh, motor broke down. Uh, I got it on video, so that you, if you want to go back and look, go back and look for my videos and you'll see it. It's what I fitted uh, uh, X1 Pro Gen 3 to uh, an angry M20, I think it was. Uh, and at the end of that video, it breaks down. Ooh. Um, so they've put a new X12 controller, right? And I think, if I'm looking at this right... It's got a peak power of 8.5 kilowatts. What? What? <laughs> That's... And if you see the motor, they're quite small. Now, saying they're small, they have said that the motor is 25% longer. Um, so that means there's a little bit more surface area, I suppose. And peak power, uh, peak torque, sorry, is going to be... 280 newton meters and i mean that that that's 280 newton meters and then that's going through your gear system in the back um and if you see my other videos with the x1 pro gen when i went up a big hill i put it in one of the the bigger gears on the back end and the bike was lifting up all the time i had a hell of a laugh go and watch that video as well um so it'll be the same it'll be an x12 controller with a peak of 8.5 kilowatts Ooh. um you it you can range from you can have a 36 volt battery to up, up into a 72 volt battery uh it's got a new torque sensing let me just look, check over there uh gen gen 4 torque sensing and 
a new style of chain tensioner. That's what it says on there. So it's a redesigned rotor. So redesigned rotor means that if they've redesigned it, uh, it means that the last motor wasn't that good, was it? If they've redesigned the, the you know, the rotor or the core part. The core part is what failed on mine. And they've redesigned it. It doesn't exactly say... It says with optimi optimised reliability and it generates high RPM. Ooh. So hopefully they've looked at the last one and found out what's wrong with it and they've solved all the problems and they send me one for free to test out. <laughs> I don't think CYC will send me one to test out. Um, it'd be nice if they did, uh, but uh, I don't think they're going to. Uh, it says by a, a redesigned motor core for better thermal performance. So it's saying that um, the 25% longer motor and redesigned motor core uh, and a better power to weight ratio. Uh, and the X112 controller, which is a big meaty thing, I think it is, uh, is capable of up to 84 volts maximum uh, voltage. And like I said, 8.5 kilowatts. So... Like, like I said, when the X1 Pro Gen 3 worked, it was absolutely fantastic. It was probably the best motor I've tried on a bike because the torque was amazing. I think the top speed, I was getting top speed. Uh, I tried that. I did, I did a speed test as well. Go back and look at that one. And that was 49 miles an hour was my top speed with a 72 volt battery. Um, so when it worked, it was absolutely superb. Now... If this works with the X12 controller and it is reliable, it is going to be a fantastic unit. Um, so hopefully they've looked at all the problems um, that, that were in the last one and they fixed it. I hope, fingers crossed, I hope they fixed it because I, I want to, you know, I like businesses to succeed and I hope they do succeed. Um, it's got torque sensing like the last one and just looking down by here. You've got loads of options. It, it can go on a fat bike. 120 mil, 100 mil, 68 to 83 mil, all the different bottom bracket sizes. So it can, it can do all them. And it does come with a good app as well. The app was really good as well. You can change a lot of the parameters inside it. So I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping, that, fingers crossed again, that CYC have cracked it. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. If anybody's thinking of spending £1,200 on a mid-motor. <laughs> like I said, when they work, they're fantastic. But when they go wrong, obviously, it's terrible. Because you spend all that money. And you take, you've take. got to think, I, I took all the time to put all the stuff on the bike. I only, I only done 39 miles. I think I did 39 miles and the motor failed. Which is awful, isn't it? Um... So I had 39 miles of <laughs> pure joy and then <laughs> pure sadness straight after. So anyway, so I thought I'd bring that to your attention. And if anybody's thinking about buying one, uh, put it in the comment section if you're thinking about buying one. Or if you did buy an X1 Pro Gen 3, tell me about your problems. Tell me if you've had problems or tell me if you know it's still working after thousands of miles. Because it might have just been a batch of certain ones that were bad and some of them are good. I'm not quite sure because I did get a few people saying that they've done uh, like 500 miles or so or a thousand miles on their CYC X1 Pro Gen 3 but most of the comments were mine's failed they've sent me a new one so that was the kind of general sort of thing so anyway oh and if you another thing to put in the comment section what mid motor have you got and tell me what it's like and how good it is uh, I'd like to hear in the comment section Anyway, that's this video for now, and I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And like I said, I'll catch you in the next one. Hoo, hoo, hoo.